Hey everybody, welcome back to this episode of Supplier Spotlight here on the FEC Network. And with us today via Skype is Riley Hamilton of SceneWorks Inc. And he's been on the show before. These guys do uh, lots of great themed facade and, uh, and uh, themed work. And they've got a new project recently completed up here near us in Ontario, Canada. And so Riley joins us via Skype and is going to talk to us a little bit about uh, this project. Hi Riley, how you doing? Hey. I'm doing good, Derek. How are you doing? Excellent. Thanks. Thanks for being on the show. So this yeah, is a this is a new project for you guys up here in uh, Ontario, I think. And um, we've got some pictures of it. I'm going to run through here as we kind of talk, and maybe you can run us through sort of what you've done and uh, and what the customer is looking for. Sure. Cool. So first thing is the um, actual pirate ship here, and this is a miniature 18-hole miniature golf course, is it? Uh, it's actually 36 holes, and it's a pirate themed. Uh, couple of pirate themed courses and uh, yeah part of uh, part of that was a uh, 50 foot pirate ship um, that's the largest pirate ship that Seamworks has ever built and uh, the client really wanted us to be able to build a ship to where the his customers can walk through it and that that was kind of a feat in itself to uh, prefabricate something that large ship it up to Canada and then install it but uh, as you can see it worked out pretty Pretty well, pretty smooth. It's really cool. So they can they actually walk through? Do they play through? Is it just kind of a walk through, and it's open inside, or? Uh, it, it, it's open inside, but it's only through the hole of it. And they actually there is a golf hole that 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 plays through the ship. So you'll putt around the main mast and uh, try to make a hole in one, I guess. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. And then the uh, second uh, picture of part of what you guys did there was the uh, the uh, POS or the uh, ticket booth, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, it was that pirate theme. We kind of, uh, you know, we wanted a good place to be able to pay, uh, pay for your round of golf and pick up putters, as well as on the back side. And, and you can't see it in this photo, but there's a, a dual 18, uh, dual 18 holes that you actually putt into the building. Uh, it collects the balls, and if you win a prize, uh, then you can go around and uh, redeem that prize for, I believe, ice cream. So. That green fees uh, slash ice cream pirate point of sale building is it's what we're looking at. Yeah, and <clears throat> your work is always the facade work is always so cool. I've seen so many jobs that you guys have done and stuff. And is this is something you obviously uh, prep in in the shop and then you ship it and install it on site. But talk to us a little bit about what the prep process is and uh, what what sort of a timeline to do some kind of a building like this. Uh, for for this particular building, uh, what we would do is we. Uh, seems like the customer always wants something uh, custom and so we would create uh, concepts and elevation drawings of what the structure would be and what its function would be and uh, we get the feedback from the customer once it's approved uh, we develop a price and then uh, we prefabricate it in our shop break it down into sections and panels uh, put it on a uh, truck and ship it up there for installation and uh, that it, it's a pretty easy process uh, we, we've done this many, many a time, so uh, I can kind of get a ballpark figure at the beginning of the project and work with that to create the look. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool stuff. Moving Thanks. on, <clears throat> moving on uh, to the third uh, image we've got here is um, these tree houses that you guys built as part of this project. And it's unfortunate for our viewers because they can't see how high these are, but how high are they and what was the purpose of doing these kind of tree forts? Well, the tree, uh, the, the tree forts is supposed to look kind of like a, uh, a castaways uh, version of maybe like a Swiss Family Robinson look, cool. uh, where they use ship wreckage to create some kind of a shelter. And uh, the top of them are, are located about uh, 35 foot above grade, or above the uh, miniature golf course. And uh, the trees are concrete, uh, and uh, we did not provide the trees. Uh, that was built on site by the miniature golf course builder. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, you just uh, and there's actually a pirate battle going on between it and the ship. You'll be able to see the cannon, I believe, in that photo at the very top. There's some special effects in that cannon that uh, there's there's firing going back and forth between it and the ship for uh, special effects purposes. Really? But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't provide the special effects. The client was in charge of uh, um, producing that. So, so that sounds like um like a uh, that sounds like a pretty cool job. Then, is yeah. it, it just is it randomly triggered? I guess and goes on throughout the day as people are golfing, sort of thing. Yeah, I I believe so. I I, I think it's probably on a timer, and uh, 
you know, ever so often uh, it will go off, and I believe that there's light at night and uh, sound, and uh, you'll look over, and there's probably, uh, I, I believe that there's, splat like, cannonball splashes in the pond right next to the, the pirate ship, right where it, it looks like maybe they're having some kind of cannon battle. <laughs> Very cool. So we're back looking at the pirate ship, and obviously there's this thing lights up at night. I would assume the back lights come on and stuff like that. Yes, correct. Yeah. And is there any way? I mean, uh, maybe not with this job, but can people are always interested in these kinds of themes and stuff, and kids especially. They wonder if they can get up on top of the ship. And is there any room on top, like for owners to do anything, and and or is it just all uh, um, look and feel at this point? Oh no! Well, the. The customers, uh, the, or the golfers, they're not allowed on top of the ship, but the, uh, the ship is structural. You, you can get on top of it like, uh, to replace the flags or to add more decor. You can, you know, that's how we installed it. So, yeah, th it's, it's really no problem uh, getting ladders or whatnot. If you want to add more rigging, uh, you want to add some kind of signage on it, um, it, it's not going anywhere. Right on, yeah. Well, once again, it's really cool work. Can you talk to us a little bit about um, the full rough price of something like that? Uh, it it, it kind of varies. What we do is we, we try to package our pricing based on the volume of work with each particular customer. Um, you know, the pirate ship in that type of form uh, for us to fabricate it uh, would probably be in the, the $60,000 range. Um, it is made of wood, uh, cypress wood and it's been painted with a uh, solid color stain so uh, that you get that look it, it, it just kind of depends on the details and uh, what the function is going to do uh, yeah. for each ship it seems yeah. like every situation is different yeah uh, rarely do we build the same thing twice it seems like we're always reinventing the wheel yeah <laughs> well and actually um, people who are watching this can go to the amusement equipment directory and check out the newsroom and they can see your last pirate job which was that mobile concession stand which I thought was a really really cool idea as well yeah yeah that was a that was a unique uh, unique project there yeah for sure a little concession stand themed as a pirate ship very neat yeah so yeah. Um, Riley, always great to be on the show they can find you folks online at sceneworksinc.com yeah Yep, that's perfect. And yeah, we want them to go there and check out all the stuff that we do. And um, other than that, I guess for this episode of Supplier Spotlight, once again, we've been talking with Riley Hamilton of SceneWorks, Inc. Make sure you swing by their uh, website. They've got lots of pictures of other work and facade work they've done. And I guess you guys also have some new uh, product ideas that we're going to be privy to here in the next uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stay tuned because uh, we'll be going public with that uh, here shortly. It's been in the process, and uh, we're, we're getting down to the, uh, the fine details of being able to release that information. I think everybody will be really happy to see that. It sounds very exciting, Riley. We'll look forward to it that time. So once again, Riley, appreciate your time on the show. Thanks for being with us. We'll uh, chat with you next time. All right, great. Thanks, Derek. I'll talk to Always you later. Always glad to be on. Okay, thanks.